Welcome to this changelog video roundup for May, hosted by me, the Descript Changelog. The team's been deep in the laboratory all month, mixing up new and honestly incredible features that you can try right now. Let's get started before I get too exuberant to continue. Number one, my good friend Underlord has been reborn as an AI co-editor that can make any video you want. All you have to do is describe it. Tell Underlord what you have in mind, and it'll make a plan, and then make your video. It knows how to do anything that's possible to do in Descript, from cutting your video, to adding effects, to making all of the tedious edits with a single prompt. It's still in beta, so it's still learning, but we want you to try it. So for now, all the AI actions you ask it to take are completely free. So get in there, and ask it for anything you want. Tell it the video of your dreams. See what happens. Tell us about it. There's also a new timeline experience available in Labs. The upgraded timeline replaces the scene rail. Now you can see all your scenes in the timeline. And you've got these thumbnails in your script that make navigation more intuitive. There's also a whole host of interface changes, including better markers, audio pins, easier access for transitions, and a new way to split scenes and clips. We call it the split button. That was my idea. You can enable the new timeline and the new underlord by opening the settings menu and scrolling down to labs under the general tab. And you can leave feedback using this button here. Number two, we've upgraded the AI video maker available from the home screen. This tool will generate a complete video for you based on a prompt, a script, or an uploaded file of your choosing. It'll fill in all the layouts, transitions, B-roll, and can even add an avatar if you're camera shy, like me. Once your video is ready, you can export it or get to editing. It's a great way to try out Descript's features or generate a quick video idea and share it instantly. The future is now and it's incredibly exciting. Number three. While we're talking automation, there are a few updates to avatars. First, you can now select a custom speaker for your avatar from the setup menu. That's neat. And we've added new, more realistic avatars to the gallery to give you more options to fulfill your video dreams without needing to set up a camera or even get out of your PJs. Tip one, write the way you speak. Number four, the screen recorder is out of beta and we're adding new stuff to it like nobody's business. We've also integrated it into the editor so when you select screen recording, we'll launch the mini app so you can keep the bulky editor out of your way while you insert your screen based B-roll. As a reminder, this is currently only available on the desktop app, so go download that now. I'll be waiting here when you get back. Number five, we can't fit everything we did this month into this video. Here are some of the smaller changes we made this month. We've upgraded the generate an image tool in Underlord to provide higher quality images. Just keep in mind this hasn't been ported to the AI video maker yet. We've also upgraded the model we used to create custom voices. You should get higher quality results. And we've applied this update to any existing voices you've made. We no longer support drive invite links. Instead, you'll use email invites to add new members to your drive. This makes it easier to track when invites have been accepted. Nice. Number six. Here's all the bugs we fixed in May. As a wise man once said, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. And those are all the updates from Descript in May. We hope you enjoy being a part of our little experiments. I started as an experiment, and look at me now, ascending to heights no changelog has ever seen. I've been the Descript changelog, and I'll see you next time.